Alexa, watch TV. Are you sure? Yes. Here we go again. <laughs> Just please turn on the show. Getting the Mandalorian from Disney Plus. Ooh, Alexa, I need a snack. Do you really need that snack? I do. Don't forget to go to the bathroom and grab water. <laughs> She's so helpful. Uh, Alexa, I'm back. Did you get your water? Hey guys, it's Craig. Amazon has released new routine options to control the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube. This is a nice update that has brought the voice functionality that only my Apple TV has had. Let's take a look. Now, if you're not familiar with routines, they are Amazon's way of doing automations. You have different choices for a trigger to a routine and choices in the actions that are taken during that routine. Routines are relatively easy to write. I did make a video in the description that covers all the features of routines. There's also Amazon Echoes down there if you want to check them out or you need to pick up one. Since that video, there's been a few additions, but that will help get you started. Now, one of my favorite features of the Apple TV has been missing with the Fire TV sticks. It is the ability to write automations or routines that include control of the Fire TV. I made a short video that you can find in the description too that wakes my Apple TV. It wakes the TV and receiver, then it switches accounts to my account and loads into the TV app where I can see my shows. I made this simple shortcut here. Here's an NFC sticker. I stick my phone over it. It reads it. Now, television's already come on. It needs to do its thing. It's a smart TV, but in the background, the Apple TV is powering up. And look, it went right in to my profile. Welcome back, Craig, and went right to my uh, Apple TV up next. Perfect, ready to go. All this with an NFC sticker, and before my TV even finishes starting up, all of this has been done. Now you can do similar actions with the Fire TV stick. Also, these Fire TV stick routines are not just limited to the Fire TV stick itself. You can also trigger any other action, like what I did in the beginning. These new Fire TV options give you a lot more control than expected. Let's look at the options, how to put them into a routine, and some examples of uses. For those of you who don't know how to make a routine, I got you covered. They are relatively easy to make if you use these steps right here. First thing you want to do is open up the Alexa app. Go to the bottom right hand corner and select more. Select routines. Go to the upper right hand corner and press plus. Here you'll enter the name of the routine. We'll just call this test. And then you choose when this happens. So you can do voice, smart home, alarms, guard, schedule, location. We're just gonna use voice for this one and create a random one. Um, test routine, real exciting. Then you hit next, and from here you need to pick your actions. And you'll see the list of actions are uh, great, there's a lot to choose from. We're gonna be talking about these Fire TV options in a few, but if you look through here, you can have it give you an update on weather, news, you can have it trigger your smart devices. There really are so many options that you can do with this. So for this one right now, I'm gonna select weather, and it'll give me a weather report. Under the from, I have to choose a device because anytime you make a request or create a routine that involves speaking to you, you have to pick which device that's gonna happen on. So in this case, we're gonna want it to happen on the Fire TV Cube. After I've done that, you hit save and you'll go back to the screen when it's ready. And from there, I could scroll down and find it. I probably passed it. There's my test routine there. There's a, the steps there, and if I back up, I can go to that test routine, and I could just hit play, and it'll run for me. Really easy to make these, and you could just keep adding stacks of information on there. Again, you could check out my routines video that's below to see all these different features. To take advantage of these new Fire TV options, let's create a routine. We're not gonna go through it all, but if you look, 
under the add actions and we scroll down to fire tv you're going to have to select which fire tv you're going to want this to go on so i want the office fire tv cube and then you're there you have your different options uh you have number one power on tv uh, pretty self-explanatory number two power off tv Again, now number three, play content. What it'll do is that it will turn on your TV and you can have Alexa open an app or content on an app, such as the example I used in the opening of The Mandalorian being opened on Disney+. Plus. I think this can offer a lot of value and options to quickly get to your content, such as opening my local NBC news, turning on the TV and tell me the weather with a simple phrase like good morning. Number four is increased volume. That could be great if you listen to a lower volume at night, but then when you turn it on during the day, you want it a higher volume. Number five would be decreased volume. Maybe you want to decrease it in the evening. Number six is pause video. That's why I demonstrated in the beginning with the lights coming up. Uh, a little reminder to grab some water and go to the bathroom. I definitely need more water. Number seven was the part that I said I'm back, the lights dimmed, I was asked if I got my water, and then my show started. Uh, number eight, navigate you back to the home screen. Maybe when you start the TV, you want it to always go back to the home screen and the volume set at a level that you want. Maybe your kids listen too loud and you don't like it and you don't want to see their stuff turn up. I don't know, it's an option there. Now to make a routine using one of these actions, you would select the action you want and keep adding other actions to the routine so you can have all different steps. Now, the Fire TV action have to be last if it is the play content options. That you can't put any other steps after that. Once you write your routine, you save it and it's ready to use. You can hit the little play button next to it to uh, test out your routine to make sure it's all working fine. Using your voice is not the only way to trigger these routines with the Fire TV. This is the flick button. Uh, you can see my video on it, and if you decide you want to get some, you can save money using the promo code down in the description. But this button can do three different actions. So maybe you set it next to the, on the couch so you don't have to say anything at night. And with each of these actions, I could basically do the things that I was doing with my voice just with the button. So click number one. Are you sure TV? Have you worked out? I did work out this morning, thank you. Getting the Expanse from Prime Video. The Expanse is a great show if you haven't watched it. We pledge your loyalty and the lives of your faction to Marco Iraos. Do you really need that snack? See? Don't forget to go to the bathroom. See, it helps motivate you and remind you to go to the bathroom. At least makes you think about those things. Okay. Did you remember the bathroom? You know what happens when someone goes against Marco or be killed? That was using a button, but you could use any other routine trigger with these Fire TV options. I do wish Amazon would implement NFC routine control. It's nice being able to have a sticker and stick your phone next to it to activate it. Another way to trigger routines could be using the motion sensor that's on your Ring Video doorbell. And when it detects motion, it turns on your TV and starts playing something and turns on some lights to make it look like someone's home or coming downstairs. I, I don't know. You can do all different things with motion. Or you can set a schedule routine at a particular time. Maybe you want to turn on your TV to the local news at 6 a.m. every morning. Or you can just use it for getting to the Mandalorian and eating snacks. Not a bad option. If you haven't watched a Mandalorian, you should. Do you use a Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube? If so, do you see yourself using these routines? Now, if you made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help it get recommended to more people. Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some more smart home information. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.